We are number one for website hits on Google, Yahoo, and Ask. We are ranked number one in video search results for YouTube, Google Video, and Yahoo. And we're number one on social networking sites like Facebook and Twitter. Technology has changed the way we teach, learn, work, communicate, and connect. Dr. Janice Light, Distinguished Professor of Communication Sciences and Disorders at Penn State, is using technology to help disabled children learn to communicate. Imagine for a moment if you were unable to speak, unable to communicate with others. You would have incredible frustration, really be locked in, unable to connect with others. This is the experience for many of the children who come to us who have special needs. We've worked with some children as young as six months old, and we've introduced them to assistive technology, and they've developed the foundations of language, learned to read and write and type, and in fact, they've entered school as readers and writers well ahead of their typically developing peers because of the early intervention using assistive technologies. One, two. When we started working with Dr. Light, and it started to come out, things just started clicking and it was communicating more. Dr. Light has given us hope. She really opened up Anna's mind and opened up Anna's willingness to learn. Um, spell Toby. We see a brighter future for Anna. We're very grateful for uh, the hope that Penn State has given us for our daughter. At Penn State Fayette, nursing students work in the new state-of-the-art biomedical technology building. Enrollment in Penn State's undergraduate nursing program has increased 20% over the last four years. And at University Park, our graduate program has more than doubled in size. Nurses are in the prime position to make changes locally, globally. So we're here to focus people in the right direction to maintain their current health status and hopefully improve it for long duration.